How y'all doing? I'm Jimmy. This is my first YouTube video and I want to show you I just created a crappy light for nighttime fishing with green LEDs. It's going to be completely watertight and it should sink straight to the bottom so you'll have to limit your distance with some kind of a rope or a string something of that sort to keep it from going all the way to the bottom of your lake. This is the, the whole tube. I had it figured up. The LED lights were a little bit shorter than what I had anticipated for the build. But it all works itself out. And it's 12 volt. It runs those two little red and black wires right there. They're just temporary right now. I'm going to solder everything. I just finished this thing like five minutes ago. So I just wanted to see how bright it was once everything was finished. I'll roll this over here. I found a mirroring object to put in the back side of this plastic tube to give it a little bit brighter shine underwater and it won't blind you when you hold it backwards like that. So let's flip this thing on and show you what it looks like if I can get the LEDs to come into focus. There we go. There we go. Pretty cool looking when it's turned on. They kind of run in a spiral all the way down the tube. I'm super excited. It, this, this thing weighs probably five pounds, so it should have no problem sinking to the bottom of the lake or wherever you want it if you're fishing for crappy normally you do it close to the water but this thing you should be able to submerge it three to five feet or deeper depending on how deep you want to fish and it should put off a pretty good light for whatever you're trying to catch I'll turn this light off and let you see how bright it is with the light off grab it and hold it up It lights up my entire garage. And the good thing about LEDs is they don't draw very much current. So if you're running a reservoir boat like I am, you are pretty worried about power. Myself, I have three deep cycle batteries running for two trolling motors. And I'm doing LEDs for everything. All the interior lights and all are going to be LED for the boat. Simply for the fact that they don't draw very much current. And they put off a lot of light, as you can tell. But that's a really bright green light right there. I wanted to bring you my first video. And there it is. I'm going to make a couple more of these lights and probably get four or five of them down the sides of the boat probably two or three on the sides on each side and one on the back since I um, I normally fish off the back of the boat and that's where I need all my lights around the back corners on all three sides so that ought to make the glow the water glow around the boat pretty good and bring in a lot of fish I hope I'll try to post another video of what it looks like underwater once I get to the lake it's probably gonna be next couple of days or so before I have a chance to go down there at night and I'll post a video for you thanks for watching alright here's the second video testing of the light it's actually doing pretty good check it out It's completely submerged and it's making the water glow just like I wanted. Look how far it goes out. Here's the side of the boat and it goes way out. Let's see if I can't turn it and get a little bit more distance out of it. It goes way out. 
think this is going to be perfect for what I'm looking for. I'm going to leave it there for a few minutes and see if I can find some bait fish to come out to it. See if it actually does its purpose. And I'll leave it to you. I'll be back shortly. Alright, the water's pretty cloudy. It's kind of hard to see it, but the top of the light is about 6 to 8 inches from the top of the water. And you see how bright it is. It's actually facing the bottom of the boat. So it's kind of hard to tell. But 6 to 8 inches. So this ought to do the trick. I think I accomplished my goal. I'm happy I'm headed to the house. Thank you.